don't think of Howie Roseman as just a GM. Think of him as a weapon. And we've got to use our weapon. You know, Howie Roseman is a weapon. There is no question about it. And when I say Howie Roseman is a weapon, I mean legitimately. He is a weapon for the Philadelphia Eagles. And if you don't use your weapon, you're making a huge, huge mistake. Pause. Okay? That's why we see so many times in the media where they put up different trade possibilities and scenarios with the Philadelphia Eagles. It's because Howie Roseman is always active, and that's the way it's going to be. Now, before we get into this, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just want to thank you so much for your support. I see Mark Holmes is out there crying. The Philadelphia Eagles is. Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Five Hundred hurt my feelings. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Mother Humper. I am coming for the meat. Dallas has no idea how bad we are going to kill that team this year. I cannot wait. I am so excited, man. I am so sick and tired of that team. It drives me nuts. But I see that Mark didn't like my video about Dak Prescott. It's not my fault Dak Prescott did what he's going to do. You know, Dak shouldn't say they're going to win the Super Bowl. Not my fault. But anyways, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Howie Roseman and the fact that we have to look at him differently than you look at any other GM in football. And, and, and I mean that truly. Uh, I don't think Howie Roseman is a typical GM. I don't think he is because Howie Roseman, uh, to me, he's more of a weapon. I have never seen a GM be so aggressive in so many ways, in so many areas. And I haven't seen a GM rebuild the team the way he did with the Eagles in the last year. I mean, I can go back and I can think about the Tampa Bay game, right? You go back and you think about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game in the playoffs, right? Jalen Hurts, they get in there, we get our butts kicked. Then I remember that playoff uh, season, I remember watching the Buffalo Bills Kansas City Chiefs game, and that game was one of the most amazing playoff games. And I remember sitting there, and I was streaming, and we were all talking in the stream saying, you know, let's be honest. If we're honest about the Eagles, the Eagles, they're, they're not on this level yet. They, they can't keep up with these teams, okay? It's going to take them a few years to get to that point. But you could clearly see, could clearly see the difference in talent. And Howie Roseman was able to go out within one year and change that all around. He was able to actually make his team catch up to those teams and 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 it was just a, a absolutely remarkable season and if you really think about it when the eagles are at their best and have their best seasons they're they're always they're always at, because of howie roseman uh being aggressive in the off season leading up to the season that they're in and i don't think it's going to stop this year because i think howie has been really really aggressive for having to do Jalen Hurst's contract, to losing guys and having to replace them and finding ways to get Nolan Smith and Jalen Carter. I think you have to give him a lot of credit. And you have to look at Howie Roseman, not just as a GM, but a weapon. I see I see him as a weapon, just like I see Devontae Smith as a weapon, Jalen Hurts as a weapon, A.J. Brown as a weapon. I, see, I think Howie Roseman is a legitimate weapon for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think a lot of the media and people see that the same way. That's why you always hear the Eagles are involved in every possible trade scenario. The Eagles should do this. The Eagles should do that. Because there's no other GM in the National Football League that is capable of any trade at any time other than Howie Roseman. And I don't know how, like covering teams, I don't know how other people can put up with it. Like, like, Imagine being a Dallas Cowboy fan and knowing your team ain't going to do crap. Or the New York Giants. You need a wide receiver. They don't do nothing. I mean, that's not exciting. That's boring. Um, the Eagles, they, they're they constantly doing something. And it's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. Um, and that leads me to this. Uh, the, the Philly voice 
it was uh, Shamus Clancy. He did he did a, a article in which he talked about three mock trades the Eagles should consider during the summer. I wanted to kind of go over these, give you my thoughts on these, and uh, get your thoughts as well. What do you think about these possible scenarios? The first one he had was a slot revamp, he called it. And the Eagles would trade Quez Watkins to the New England Patriots and a seventh-round pick, and in exchange, they would get a 2024 sixth-round pick. Um, to me, I have to say, I would absolutely not do this trade. I am completely 100% against this mock trade scenario. Uh, he wants to give them Quez Watkins and a seventh-round pick and only get a 2024 sixth round pick, and it would be a 2025 seventh round pick, but I'm only getting a sixth round pick, and I'm giving you Quez Watkins? Quez Watkins has far too much upside for that. I would never do that trade. I think that's a crazy trade. Why would we give up on Quez Watkins like that? Here's the other thing. If you were to out, go out and do that, you know what that means? You have to get another receiver. You have to go out and get another receiver. I would not do that at all. Um, I would rather keep Quez Watkins. I would rather try to let Quez Watkins go out there and prove himself. Uh, I am not trading him away for nothing and then having nothing return. Now, if I signed DeAndre Hopkins beforehand and then I made a move for, for Quez Watkins, yeah, I could get that on some level. I could get it. But but that trade, uh, mock trade, I, I'm sorry, my man. What, what's his name again? Shamus? Uh, dude, that trade stinks. No, we don't want that. Uh, his scenario two was linebacker help. And the Eagles would trade a 2024 fifth round pick. And they would get back linebacker Patrick Queen from the Baltimore Ravens. This I absolutely love. Would I do this in a second? Absolutely in a second. If I get Patrick Queen for a fifth round pick in 2024, absolutely. I mean, I would rather get Patrick Queen and give up a fifth round pick in 2024 than Quez Watkins and a seventh round pick to get back a sixth round pick in 2024. Uh, this would make a lot more sense. Uh, to me, you know, uh, he, he did say this about Queen. He said in 2022, Queen had 117 combined tackles, two interceptions and five sacks. He started every possible game of his NFL career. It may be too early just to assume that N'Kobe Dean can come in and be the Eagles on question number one linebacker after playing just 34 defensive snaps during his rookie year. The team wants him to succeed and take this role, but I'm not quite sure he's ready. I have to disagree with him there. I think Quez Watkins, I mean, N'Kobe Dean is ready. I think N'Kobe Dean will be ready to go. Um, however, I still like the idea of bringing Patrick Queen, uh, especially, um, you know, for a fifth round pick in 2024. Remember, the Eagles have two number twos next year. So uh, we, we could play around and do something like that. So I would say, first scenario, I'm against the Quez Watkins trade. Second scenario, I would be all for it. And then his third scenario, he calls it the big swing. All right, and the Eagles trade a 2025 third round pick for, drum roll please, safety Buda Baker from the Arizona Cardinals. I would absolutely do this in a second for a 2025, 25th, 2025 third round pick. I can't even speak. I'm so excited about this possibility. But for 2025 third round pick, for uh, Buda Baker, yeah, I would do it. The key to Buda Baker is going to be you have to give him an extension. You're going to have to pay him. So the Eagles would have to work a contract out with him, and then it's something that could be possible. Uh, but would I do it? Yeah, I would do that in a second. And here's what he said about it. He says, uh, here's a mock trade that has been proposed at nauseum. At this point, with the Cardinals, all pro safety haven't been linked to the Eagles all all season. He hasn't hid the fact that he wants to play in Philly. A trade for Baker rather now rather than earlier in the off season benefits Arizona, as this would be a post June first trade, providing them with salary cap and savings flexibility. The Eagles are currently tr entering training camp with three man battle for two safety spots between Reed Blankenship, Terrell Edmonds, and third round pick or third round rookie Sidney Brown. As of right now, I'd expect Blankenship and Emmons to go to get first team reps when things kick off next month. But if the Eagles want to go big and throw their chips on the table in hopes of hosting a Lombardi Trophy again, Baker is a splashy move. I, I think Baker is a very splashy move. And I think 
I think Baker, um, I think Baker is, is a situation that could happen at some point. I really do. Um, but, you know, the question is going to be his contract. If the Eagles could absolutely go out and do it, yeah, I would do it. So I, I like that move. And if I had to choose, all right, if I, I could only choose one of these three moves, definitely not the first move because I'm not doing the first mod. The first trade that they, they threw out there, I hate. I absolutely hate it. Second or third, I would obviously go for scenario three. I would I would prefer Buda Baker. I, I you know especially for a 2025 third round pick. Yeah, I would do that in a second. Uh, the the key is going to be a contract extension. But listen, this team is close to winning the Super Bowl. This team's on the cusps. You got to think if Howie Roseman, who we talked about being a legitimate weapon, a weapon. Um, is is going to strike he's going to strike at some position that is going to affect the eagles immediately and put us in a position to win i have no doubt about it i i really think there's a 50 50 shot with this whole buddha baker trade going down in the future i really do um and and how he he's got plans and there's always you know th this is just philly media putting out some tr some trade possibilities you how he always comes up with these trades that were always like, wow, I didn't even see that coming. I had no idea that Eagles were even thinking about doing that. So that's what we have to look for when it comes to Howie and what they do. I, I'm okay with it. Uh, I, I would love the Buda Baker trade. I think it's 50-50 shot. Uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you think about these three mock trades heading into training camp? And uh, do you view Howie the same way I do? Do you look at him as just another GM? Or do you see Howie as a, like, a legitimate weapon for the Eagles to use, especially in the offseason or when you need, you know, to... To, to acquire a player and make a trade. I think it's getting to the point where teams are almost scared to trade with the Eagles because they're always getting ripped off by Howie Roseman. Just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. Olimad Zacchaeus. He's the guy that would take over for Quez Watkins. And I don't even know if I said his name right. And I like the kid. I think he's got a lot of upside. But if you were to trade Quez Watkins, uh, you still need to add another wide receiver. So the best bet is to go out and sign DeAndre Hopkins or somebody like that. And then you trade Quez Watkins. You don't trade Quez Watkins beforehand because you would leave a hole as far as I'm concerned. I think Quez Watkins can play. I trust that Quez Watkins is going to rebound. And to be honest, because the Eagles have to go out and get a wide receiver, uh, I think it's less likely that Quez Watkins gets traded. I think the most likely scenario is two positions. Not linebacker, because linebacker, we know how the Eagles treat the, that position. But I think safety and defensive end seem like the most likely positions the Eagles are going to add depth to before um, we get into the 2023 season. Uh, Buda Baker, 50-50 shot. I think there's a legitimate shot that could happen. Kevin Bayard is another one we didn't talk about in this video that could happen too. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Thank God we have Howie Roseman, the weapon. Denzel Washington out.